Hello and welcome to this edition of our How To Series, how to use art as a way to really enrich and empower our lives for, for joy and for health and well-being as well. Um, you know, over our Vet Chat series here the last couple of months, we've had the opportunity to bring in guests to share with us their various modalities. And we were really, really fortunate to have our, our next presenter, Ms. Jennifer Harmon, who is the founder and president of the Storytellers Alliance and a member of just about everything that we've done with Vet Art Span uh, here in the Tampa Bay area. And as a part of our Cre National Creative Forces Initiative, she dances, she writes, she's an inspiration. She's a fantastic mom. She teaches at university cities and her key is to share with us the importance of writing and how it can be fun so jennifer welcome to our how to series and my question to you is how can writing be a joyful and enriching experience that any one of us can do well thanks for having me fred um yeah sometimes you know i do teach writing in a college environment so of course when i mention oh you're gonna have to write a paper um, first thing that comes to mind for my students is great, like that sense of dread. Um, but whether I'm working with veterans or I'm working with my students or just doing it for myself, um, I found ways to make writing more of a, of a creative and recreational activity um, that actually helps, at least me, it helps with mental health. Um, you know, and I don't know if you are aware of this, Fred, but there are many benefits, evidence-based benefits to writing, um, one of which is fewer doctor visits, um, improved physical health, and it lowers your risk of mental health stressors. Um, so it seems, it's interesting, when I learned about these, these benefits, I had already been experiencing those benefits without realizing that. Um, so, to make it fun though, to answer your question, um, I usually start out by recommending um, a stream of consciousness writing. It's the easiest thing to do. You literally write exactly what you're thinking. It doesn't matter what it is. You're, you're writing, gosh, it's really cold in this room. The light is really bugging my eyes right now. Oh, I have hair in my face. Anything that comes to mind, you just start writing. And eventually, maybe you set a timer for three to five minutes, eventually it'll start evolving into something more than just this random stream of consciousness it'll take form um so that's one way to kind of get the juices flowing um other ways are you know there's there are different types of writing of course there's writing for business and for school and for professional reasons but when you're doing it for yourself um there are different ways to journal um for instance we have uh, gratitude journals uh, reflection, savoring, and like I already said, stream of consciousness. So there's all different ways for you to approach writing as a way to kind of keep yourself stable sometimes, um, to appreciate the little things. Um, and yeah, I mean, there are ways to make it fun, though, even if it seems daunting at first. Mm. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. I know uh, oftentimes when I um, uh, would endeavor to write. Um, sometimes I get stuck. Is there? A, is there? A, how do you get? How do you get unstuck? <laughs> how do you get that feeling of moving beyond? I think maybe your stream of consciousness idea is really, really great, because I think a lot of times people feel like, well, I have to have a purpose. I've got to write something specific. But really, what's the what's the easy way or the fun way to get unstuck? So if we're having a hard time starting and we're staring at a blank page, okay, definitely just get, if you're typing, get your fingers moving. Doesn't matter what you're writing. It could be stream, stream of consciousness. It could be random keystrokes. But once you start getting your fingers warmed up and working, that's going to connect to what's going on in your brain. And suddenly it's like, wait, what a, wait a minute. I want to start writing something here. So that's one way to just kind of jump right in, get the engine revved up and start moving things along. Um, another way is if you have been writing and let's say you reach a stuck point to where you're not really sure what to write anymore. Um, it's getting, maybe you're writing about something emotional. It's getting a little too heavy. Walk away, get up, go get some fresh air, get a change of scenery. Um, cause again, like with my college students, 
they get stuck in the middle of their writing because they're so focused on the end goal that they miss the whole process. And sometimes part of that process is giving your brain an opportunity to breathe and just have a moment of relaxation. Um, I know for me, my creative juices cannot flow if I'm too much in the zone or if I'm stressed out or if I have too many things going on at one time, if I'm pressed for time. Um, which on the flip side, sometimes those stressors um, at, like that fire to make me, you know, write more and I, I have more passion. Um, but when I'm not feeling it, um, those are some ways that I've gotten around it. Um, some of my students have been able to get around it. And as far as, you know, when you're doing it for recreation, especially for veterans, um, I would definitely recommend not going too heavy. You know, this isn't meant to be therapy per se. Um, it's meant to be a release, you know, and eventually that release can turn into a way of reflecting and finding, you know, those little silver linings um, in maybe a, a traumatic experience that you've had. Um, but either way, like you, Fred, I've gone back and, and looked at things that I wrote a few days ago or a week ago, and it timestamps where I was mentally, emotionally um, at that moment. Um, and it really gives me a sense of reflection to where I can see, one, I can see how far I've come from there. Has my, my mood and mindset changed uh, for the better, for the worse? Um, but what has evolved since that point in time? And maybe I can grow from there and see it on paper, see my own personal growth. Fantastic. Fantastic. So it sounds to me like it's just a tremendous opportunity to do some experimentation. Um, very similar to uh, a, a couple of sessions that I've been in where people talk about painting and before you actually start to paint, you just kind of doodle and move. You know, I love the idea of just having your fingers on the keyboard or, you know, pen, your favorite pen or pencil. So that's the key, I think. It's so great. So wonderful. Thanks for giving us that that overview of how we can take a word and have fun with it, experiment with it, timestamp our life, you know, just stream thought. It's so, so wonderful. Jennifer Harmon, thank you so very, very very much. Same level of excitement like we had with Vet Chat. Just a real new introduction into the world of story, our own stories and writing and thought. Another way for us to have a quick how-to in this experimentation of how to turn art into an experience of health, well-being, and just great fun. Thanks so much for taking this time to be with us for this how-to. Thanks, Jennifer. Thanks to you all. Until next time, be safe, take care, and write.